we are so excited to show us our new machine in the closed loop configuration. Really, follow us. So I will take you through the machine mechanically and then I'll show you the CNC part. So from right to left and from top to bottom. From right you have a power on switch, we have a kill switch, we have an off and on switch for safety reasons and we have a switch for direction and because of the frequency drive we have um, driving seamless. And you hear how quiet the machine is. Quite simple, stop and you change your direction. So how does this work? The frequency drive uh, is connected by 230 volt or any other configuration which is necessary and uh, converts the energy to the motor. It's a very effective device. Now this motor has 2.3 kilowatts and has here the gearbox. The gearbox can under or overdrive. This is normally not used for the frequency drive, but people really like the feature that it's still there. This spindle uh, has still the um, drill press functionality uh, in the system. The, the it's available also without the drill press functionality, then, then we use a stronger um, ball bearing. Uh, you can choose when you order the machine like you, uh, like, you like it. So here, the, the table uh, is a massive T-slot table where you can mount your pieces, you can mount the device or whatever you want for clamping your, your piece. And we use in the spindle SK30. SK30, in this case, um, it, it has a miller already attached or you have a drill chuck, whatever. The, uh, then you have um, an, a bar and the mounting is so simple and fast. You see, just plug it in. I should be taller. And we normally use an electro device like this and it's mounted. Here you have seen how handy the steel table is. Steel table, a lock, a massive stand, everything there. Now, no, now let's go back. The, the table uh, runs on massive hardened uh, ball, ball rails and the spindles are driven by uh, ball gears. So you have no backslash, nothing. This is required for the CNC. The big wheels give you a handy feeling, so when you work manually, everything is fine. So we, we ship the machine in the standard configuration with steel guards, which you easily can remove, and then you have a plain table. I will show it for you. This will, will, will work in seconds, like that. And then you have the flat table like it is. It is all, then, then you see on the back side, the back cover, which is the standard configuration. You can also have a full enclosure, which is very handy when you work full-time CNC. It's up to you. You can choose how you like the machine. Um, then you see here the stepper motor, the other stepper motor is inside hidden and on top there's also stepper motor. Mechanically you can clamp the axis with, with handles, all axes can be clamped. This is sometimes necessary for manual uh, working. And now I show you the CNC part. The PC is basically hidden behind this enclosure and, you, and we have here a normal screen. You can use your own screen, you can use a touch screen, you can use your own mouse, keyboard, whatever you like, or, or you order the parts by us. Give us a call, uh, let's chat what is the best configuration for you, which will uh, sort out for you. So, now you see the booting takes some seconds, Th this is just convenient, and the system automatically comes up 
with normally axes. So, um, these two switches are required for power and force. So if they are on the right side, they are on. And now you can use the system with the keyboard and you see, I now switched on the environment and see how quiet it is. You can drive by key or you can use your mouse. Now we do reference drive. This is the interference from the long Z axis and sometimes the metal guards are giving you some noises but we like the metal guards because of hot chips uh, to protect the spindle. And now you see the referencing is going on. So now the Y axis is referenced and now the system is ready to go. You see here on these poles that it works. Now what do we do? We, uh, we will show you the next feature. The next feature is our drilling for drilling gears. So we, we speed and you see you can electronically run it by key code and now uh, we, give, we give the code for cutting gears. Now it's going down, re reversing, reversing, going back and when you have a, spe a special collet which is doing the len length um, compensation, then you can perfect cut gears. When you have now the key code, imagine here a line of, of, of drilled holes, it will cut gears the whole day long. So I hope you had fun with our system. If you have any question, drop us a note, let us know. And if you want any special uh, aspect of the machine filmed, then just give us information, we will go and film this for you. Thank you very much. Bye.